Hey, what's up guys, Max here. And today we got a little sneak preview on Twitter X about the new champion coming out next month, Count Nefaria. Who is this guy? First thing I thought was Doctor Strange and I said to myself, hey, at least we're getting a V2 or version two of Doctor Strange, even though he didn't win the vote for the rework. Um, but turns out this guy is nothing to do. Well, he's got, he is very human. Okay, so he does have that background like Doctor Strange had where he was extreme, like just a regular human being. Um, and it, I ended up looking into him and found a lot of interesting things, which I'll share here with you. But first, I'm sure you saw this already. Let's go take a look, a little preview of the special animations that Kabam put out on the video here on Twitter. Count Nefaria. Science. All right, so that's kind of what the, we got so far to look at when it comes to his special animations. Nothing to be excited about, you know, but maybe when you know about the background of this guy, he's a villain uh, and he is actually one of the most powerful villains came out when I looked into him in 1965 when it comes to like Marvel creation of characters that he was in one of the early stages, early ages of night back in 1965. Come on. You know, so he's an old character. Uh, he's a villain. And like I said, he was just a regular human being, nothing crazy besides him being super extremely wealthy and like loving science and that he basically hired a bunch of scientists to create different crazy things back then in that era. Right. And he became so I guess, uh, focused on becoming extremely powerful. He be joined a big giant gang at during that time, um, had a daughter, which ended up being Miss, uh, Madam mask. I believe that's her criminal, uh, her criminal name or her marble name or her character name. Uh, she became a, a villain too as well. Um, so uh, yeah, dude, the history of this guy is incredibly cr crazy because if you guys know Baron Zemo in the game, you know, one of the scientists that Baron Zemo had, basically he hired or got involved with one of them and he was able to get the powers of like the superhuman powers of three superhuman characters. OK, put them all into Count Nefaria and as he ended up the scientist, by the way, the scientist, as he ended up putting these powers into Count Nefaria, giving them this incredible amount of strength. Um, we'll, t we'll look right now at his abilities. Um, he ended up killing the scientists. And the reason why he killed them was because he didn't want that scientist because that was kind of like a, a one time kind of a thing. He's never done it. The scientist has never done something like this. And he did it for the first time on Count Nefaria, making him extremely powerful as a human. Um, as he was dying, as he basically killed the scientist, the scientist was dying and told him, Hey, you know what? With your new gain power also comes great weakness. So basically he ends up aging like crazy amount of speed and, and basically tells him he's got two days to live, which isn't, you know, it was a lie, uh, as a dying man, scientist, dying scientist guy, um, was trying to like put fear into Count Nefaria because he's killing him. Uh, he ends up living a lot longer than two days, but he ends up does his body ends up gaining a lot, getting older quicker than any other, any other person, which ends up basically causing him to die. And actually, um, in the history of that, I at least looked into or found out he does die because of that. Um, not necessarily because of the age and stuff, but because of his weakness. You know, you get older, you can't do as many things. You, you can't stay up as late and <laughs> playing video games. But um, he ends up dying because of that, because he's very weak and a building falls on him. And I guess uh, they they weren't able to find him. So, um, yeah, super exciting um, when it comes to this guy. He's got a lot of interesting pictures. 
very sin uh, sinister smile like a villain. Uh, but here, like I said, we're going to be looking at his abilities. And if you look at his abilities, man, the breakdown of these things, it's insane. Um, so, um, you know that Thor hammer, Mjolnir? He fought plenty of times. Iron Man, the Avengers, Thor. Thor, in one of the scenes and one of the fight scenes, he basically launched Milnir to him and basically just hit him in the chest and bounced right off. Now, interesting enough, when he tried to pick it up, he wasn't able to. I mean, that might not be because of the super, uh, super strength that he has, but it more like the ability of being able, uh, being worthy, you know? But um, that's how strong he is. Basically, um, so here's, uh, we got some uh, information because uh, on when it comes to his abilities. So he's got this energy foam uh, form that he does and he has basically, and that's what he does to consume, to stay even longer, live longer. Uh, super, super stupid, ah! Superhuman strength, uh, superhuman speed, stamina is incredibly crazy. Uh, his senses are insane too as well. So his normal senses of like hearing, smell, sight, touch, all that stuff is like, it's it's just insane. It's multiplied by a lot. So he can basically kind of like hear, you know, words being spread, like said, like tons of miles away. So it gives him that extra uh, ability to be able to be like, uh, if you're trying to say a secret, yeah, there's no secrets being said around him. Um, invulnerability, superhuman agilities, energy manipulations. Uh, and I think he's got teleportations, which I think that was towards somewhere in the comics, like later on that he kind of ended up doing that. Um, ionic vampire, vamp, Pyrism. So um, the reason why I think that was in there, I kind of read this, is because uh, he consumes energy, ionic energy. So um, I guess that's kind of involved. But just overall, guys, the reason why I looked into this guy, because I have no idea who he was. And if you do know anything about this guy, that's very interesting. Definitely drop it in the comments. Let me know, because like I said, I'm new to this character, even though he's been out in the Marvel world since 1965. Um, but yeah, guys, he looks super, super interesting. There's so much information on this guy out there, you know, when it comes to like what his abilities are, the fights that he's had with the Avengers. He's as strong as Milnir, like I said, he's even uh, defeated and fought um, Thor, part of the Avengers, and he's he's just a crazy villain. Um, too bad, like that I like I said that I found out that he died. Maybe that's why we haven't heard of him. But I guess a Marvel Contest of Champion has, and I would be I would be surprised if Marvel comes out with a like movie or something about this guy that would be interesting too as well but yeah I, i'm excited for him to be added to the game like i said i'm not excited to be able to like say hey i'm dishing out some monies to get him but if he becomes extremely powerful as he is in the comics then maybe might be something to look about hopefully he's good in battlegrounds take care guys catch you guys on the next one peace